Hey guys, it's Tech here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove a Windows update because if you guys do not know, Windows just dropped a recent update in the last few weeks that actually affects your SSD that could either remove the drive from your system or make you lose data entirely. So yeah, a pretty bad issue. It only happens after you move like 50 gigabytes at a time, but this can affect your PC right now just because that update is automatic. So it might already be on your system. So you might want to remove it so that way you don't have any future problems or lose all your data because especially for me, I move a lot of data and I do not want to lose any of it. So I want you guys to know how to do that here today. So let's jump right into it. So what you're going to do when you're on your homepage for Windows is you want to go to the bottom of your dashboard to the search bar. And from here, you want to type up settings. And once you see the settings icon here, you want to open this on up and go to your system info. Now, once you're in here, what you want to do is go to the bottom left under window updates. And once you're in here, you want to look for the update history because we're going to look for the driver that's called KB5063878 because this driver can actually cause problems for your SSD to disappear from your system. You might have to reset the system to actually get them to reappear or they might just disappear from your system entirely. And this could also be for like your boot drive. So you could lose everything. So what you're going to do to actually get rid of this driver right here is you're going to go to the actual uninstall updates. And from here, you're going to find that driver. So we can see our driver is actually right here. So you see the security update for Microsoft Windows and you see as the code number, as we mentioned earlier, what we want to do is click uninstall and then just uninstall this driver and it's entirely that way you don't have any problems with losing your data on your computer. But this will roll back to a previous update of Windows. So it's a more stable version. Now it's going to ask you to reset. You want to reset your PC. So now I would also recommend permanently disabling the Windows updates because that way it doesn't automatically re-download the driver again. So what you're going to do is go to the search bar, type up services. You're going to open this on up. Once you're in here, what you want to do is scroll down until you see Windows update. So you can see right here is a Windows update right here. We're going to double click on this. And what we're going to do is from manual, we're going to set this to disable and click stop. So this is going to stop all future updates until you resume it. And you're just going to click apply. And once you've done that, you're good. You can also do another thing if you really want to, and I'll go through that second step is just pause the updates. So you can say pause it for one week, or you can just just do five weeks for however long you want. And then you can always click resume later. Uh, so I've already set this to five weeks for the time being, but you can just do the exact same thing. You'll be safe for the time being. If you guys did find this video helpful though, make sure to smash like a button and get subscribed to miss some future tech content. I'll see you for now on TechRant out.